All right, yep. Here with uh, D-line, D-tackle coach uh, Kyle Tatum, and you're kind of the front line of the defense. How do you think the defensive line, defensive tackles have progressed since, you know, first year in the Sun Belt to, to this camp? Well, you know, we when we started out in the Sun Belt, uh, you know, we had some seniors, uh, had some guys that uh, kind of knew the Bobcat way. Uh, last year we had some new guys step in, and, you know, that was their first year in action, and, and uh, they got a year under their belt now going into 2015. But, you know, we, we have a very long ways to go. Uh, but, but our guys are getting better every day. We're seeing some progression in some areas uh, that we've expected, and, uh, you know, they just need to keep turning it on. And uh, it looks like since you guys have put on the pads, this looks like a much more physical defensive line. Do you feel better in the ability to go up against some of the great offensive lines like Georgia Southern and Lafayette in this conference? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's been our whole process, you know, through recruiting uh, and, and recruiting guys that, that, uh, that are going to take us to the next level. Um, you know, I mean, Louisiana Lafayette has done a great job in our conference. They've kind of been the front runner. Uh, they've kind of set the standard. And, uh, you know, we got to get guys that are big, strong, fast up front that are going to be physical, that can really rush the quarterback and uh, create some havoc in that backfield. So we feel like we've really recruited some guys that we like, uh, and they're stepping up finally. So, I mean, you know, it's just a, it's a matter of time. We just got to keep progressing and, and, and pushing these guys. And yesterday, Coach Hudson said that as you guys look to improve the D-line as a whole, you guys did some research over the summer, talked to some people. Can you go a little bit more detail about what it was that you guys were really looking to find? Well, you know, I mean, what we try to do, Rob, is, is you know, take the off season, all right, and take time to really do some research and development for our, for our defense. And uh, what me and Coach Hud did is we visited some guys we have some close relationships with, uh, some guys in the SEC, NFL guys, uh, that, that coach defensive line and, and they're seeing the same things we're seeing and you know really nothing in specific terms but uh, just you know talking to them about how they teach uh, you know we're all really teaching the same things uh, you know and at the end of the day it's just get off pad level and effort if you got those three and we try to make those part of our DNA uh, so uh, you know that, that's uh, something that our guys can live by. So is that comforting to know that you guys are doing the right things? It's now just a matter of finding the talent to do that at a higher yeah, level. I mean, you know, we're we're uh, we're paid to do this job, and uh, <laughs> there's no question. It feels good to know that that we're all teaching the same things, and you know, everybody's got their own method of madness, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to teach things a little different, uh, but at the end of the day, we all want to get vertical and sack <laughs> that quarterback. So. And finally, give the fans at home some names to look out for this year along that D-line. Well, we got some guys, uh, some, some seniors that need to step up. Uh, Rashad Dillon uh, needs to step up and have a great year. Uh, Dallas McClarty uh, has been a good leader. He'll be a junior this year. Uh, Dondre Elbowin needs to step up. This is his senior year. Uh, you know, those are a couple of guys that we're looking at. Uh, you know, Will Trevelyan uh, could possibly be a guy. Cedric Gambriel, uh, he's got to turn it on. Uh, Herbert Gonzalez, uh, he's done some good things as a walk-on. Uh, so, I mean, there's a lot of competition in my room right now. Uh, you know, those guys, uh, they understand it. And uh, we change the depth chart pretty much daily. Uh, we like to create competition. And, and uh, you know, Josh Loach is another guy. He's a freshman uh, that's caught our eye a couple times. Uh, he's got some things to work on fundamentally, but he's going to be okay.